What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this video means a lot to me. I've been tweeting Acer for a while. I purchased my Chromebook back in like 2014. As soon as they released the i3 model, that's a dual core, four gigs of RAM. This thing has been a absolute beast and has stood the test of time. It still works great and I have no reason to get rid of it. It is an amazing Chromebook and now they have given me the opportunity to check out a real Chromebook. When I say real Chromebook, I mean I am a power user. My Chromebook usually has many, many, many extensions going and less than a gig of RAM available. And this is the 8 gig model, Core i5, mine's an i3. So this is why I'm saying it's a real Chromebook. So this is the C771T 56G3 and... Let's see what we have on this side here. So it is the i5-6200U, so 6th gen. It is a 11.6 inch panel like my other one. Uh, it has the HD Graphics 520. It has eight gigs of DDR3 in a Chromebook. Guys, that's gonna be enough for someone like me, the power user, to constantly have between probably two to four gigs available. That's awesome. And then 64 gigs of storage since this is a Chromebook and almost everything you're doing is online and only like files you download will be on your computer, that's more than enough. And another very exciting thing is, if you have a AC router, this will do that. And it's got Bluetooth, and we have Google Fiber here. So that AC router, it's gonna have a nice clean connection to the Chromebook. And then we got a three cell lie polymer battery. So that being said, uh, this was broken when I got it. This was a review unit. I do have to send it back, unfortunately. But I still wanted to do the unboxing and show you guys this because it looked like it was all, you know, in, intact here. So we've got our power supply here. And this is the story of a girl who cried a river and drowned the whole world. <laughs> all right. So it does 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 3 amps, 15 volts at 3 amps, uh, 20 volts at 2.5 amps or 2.25 amps, and then 45 watts max. It's just a Type-C cable, and we're gonna get to that in a moment. That is the most exciting thing about this. And then you just plug this into it, and you charge your Chromebook. For the last few years, I've had to have my one charger, <laughs> and I have to bring it with me everywhere I go to charge up this Chromebook. Since this uses that Type-C connection, you, uh, you're gonna see, you're gonna see why it means so damn much to me. All right, let's go ahead and set this rest of it to the side here, and let's take a look. All right, I have no clue how new this is. I don't know if this is a new unit or someone else has already had it. So on the back, we've got our two down-firing speakers. We've got our vent for that fan to keep the unit cool, and then it looks like we have Something with the keyboard icon on it to release the keyboard, I guess? And, okay, so on the side here, we've got a micro SD card slot, which is an interesting change from the other one I have. Oh, and right away, the texture, the feel of it, that's nice. It feels like it would be pretty darn durable. This is more of like a slippery, like a uh, plasticky kind of feel. Like it's going to be easy to break. I can tell you this thing is not easy to break. I have, uh... I have done a few things to it that I'm not proud of. <laughs> and it has uh, still worked. <laughs> this thing feels like it's going to be m more something like you can let your kid use and they're not going to break it. It's got nice rubber sides to it. And then the top, it just feels like it can take more of a beating than the other one. We're going from a full size to a micro. We've still got our USB 3.0 port. We've got our Kensington lock on this side. We've got our Type-C. Check that out. We're going to be able to charge the sucker up off of a Type-C co cord, which is amazing. We've got a second USB 3.0 port, which I'm coming from two USB 2, one USB 3 to two USB 3. And then we've got our HDMI and we've got our microphone headphone combo jack. So that's awesome. Then we've got two lights here. I guess one's getting power and then one's letting you know that it's charging. Not quite sure. Then we do have a vent here on the back. And comparing it to the C7203404, that has been an amazing Chromebook, it has that same vent back there and kind of the same setup. 
in general, except, oh, I was wrong. Uh, we have one USB 3 and one USB 2. Now we have two USB 3. So that's awesome. All right, enough with that. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. I feel like the screen has a bigger like border around it. So let's let's compare it to the screen on here. So it definitely looks like there's a little more like of a bezel than the older Chromebook here. <laughs> I uh I don't know how I broke that. I oh well, yeah, I have a loose cord right here. And so I popped the frame off around it and I snug the cord. <laughs> this thing's a few years old and I have dropped it um, a few times. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that cord just needs to be popped in there, just, you know, put back in place. And while popping this off for like the 50th time, because it happens every like month or two, I broke the little piece here. So now it's even easier to get the bezel off and get that cord back up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man the reason i love my chromebook so much is because i use it all the time it goes with me everywhere it has been through so much but it's still kicking all right so let's take a look at the chromebook itself this is a spill resistant keyboard and that means a lot to me because within like the first year of owning this one i had a cup on the table next to my chromebook and it spilled on my keys so every now and then you can it's you're not gonna be able to hear it because it's because the microphone but this key is a little sticky and the whole, like some of these keys, I have to like hit them a few times to get them to go back up and down again. <laughs> Cause I did spill soda in the keyboard and I, I tried to look into changing the keyboard out, but it's a, it's a little more of a process than I want to go through. And I've been using it just fine the way it is for the last few years. This is a spill resistant keyboard. So up to a certain amount of liquid can be spilled on it and you can just wipe it off you don't have to worry about, you know, messing something up. Obviously, I wouldn't spill anything on it on purpose, but you get the point. So let's go ahead and sign into this thing. I'm someone that's very familiar with Chromebooks, so I don't need to go through the little setup thing. Another really nice thing about this is this has support for the Google Play Store. So an app that you have on your phone, you can also download on here. More than likely, it's going to work. Some apps won't be compatible with your Chromebook, but you'll find out in the Play Store. It'll say this isn't this device isn't supported. But so, like, we can go here to the Play Store, and this is exciting. This is something that's going to be brand new to me. I have not had Google Play Store support because this Acer Chromebook to my left here that I've been showing you, that's my very first Chromebook, and it did not get updated to support the Play Store. And this device has it out of the box and it's going to run them a little better anyway because you have more RAM to play with and you've got a faster i5 6th gen versus an old, much older i3. So you can have like an alarm clock on here through the Google Play Store. You could download a clock. And there you go. You can use your Chromebook as an alarm clock. You could download some games you want to play like Hill Climb Racing, one of my all-time favorite games that I play the most on my phone. You can download it. It's there. Oh, and it's touchscreen. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I remember the specs having it. I just forgot it had it and I accidentally touched it. So and that's another huge benefit is it has a freaking touchscreen. Some of these apps are going to work way better with your finger than they will with a keyboard. And there we have it. We're playing Hill Kai Racing on our Chromebook. <laughs> So this thing serves way more purposes than my Chromebook ever did. I can have games like this on my... I have my Chromebook with me all the time. And now I can enjoy games I, I enjoy on my phone on my Chromebook as well. That is just pure awesomeness. All right. So we're back in our own account here because it asked us to sync it. And now we've, oh, there's a new car available? What? What is this? I didn't even know they updated it to add a new car. <laughs> we're freaking playing hill climb racing on our Chromebook. How awesome is that? All right, so this is just the unboxing. And one thing I want to show you real quick is you want to charge it, but you've only got your one charger. Well, that's not a problem. Play's got our anchor power bank here. We're going to go ahead and press the button, plug it in. 
and then we're gonna plug it into the side of the Chromebook here and see if those lights change. And there you have it, look at that. We've got it plugged into our Chromebook and down there, it is currently charging. We're charging our Chromebook off of our battery bank. And that's such a big deal because we've got other battery banks like this one that use the USB-C power delivery. So we've got that over here. Then we've got this one that is just the uh, five volts, three amps. So it may not charge it, but it might charge it a little bit slower, but nonetheless, it's type C. Unplug it, the screen goes dimmer and a little icon goes away. All right, looks like we're having a little bit of trouble getting this one to power it, but that's okay. It's just a five volt, three amp system. This guy is a 27 watt charger. Check it out. We're gonna press the button here. We're gonna turn this sucker on and we're gonna plug it in and you're gonna see a little light right there. Boom. We're charging our Chromebook off of a battery bank. How awesome is that? How freaking awesome is that? You can have power anywhere and everywhere you go. You don't need a wall outlet nearby. That's awesome. The keys feel really good. I like them. I like them. This this thing just feels solid. And look at that. We're still get, we're getting power, the blue light, and we're charging up that battery inside here, all from this guy right here. And again, when that guy dies, we'll charge him up. We'll throw this guy on there. We'll use this guy. That's just awesome. I will have links to this laptop in the description below, as well as that charger. So you can be just like me and powering up your Acer Chromebook off of a battery bank. Hey, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. And then we've got extra ports to charge up our phone. Ah, oh, come on, you cannot beat this. So this was just the unboxing. This is not the review. I will be doing a review of this thing. All right, let's, it's called HTML5. Ooh, that just feels responsive. Like I click on stuff and it happens quicker than my other Chromebook ever did. That's awesome. This thing feels snappy, feels responsive. The keyboard feels great. It's a freaking Chromebook. It does what it's supposed to do and it does it extremely well. So check this out, guys. This is why this is such a big deal to me. Not only are we currently charging our Chromebook still off of that type C battery bank, so we're gonna have a full battery here soon, is, well, look at this. This is called, uh, I actually have a short link to it because it's hard to find when just searching for it bit.ly slash simple ram info simple ram info enter and then here it is so it's telling me right now i have 4.8 gigs of ram available check that out my other chromebook most of the time i had 0 0.7 0 0.8 somewhere around there but it, it never had a problem i could open more tabs and do more things but this is awesome we have four five gigs free right now if you'd like me to go through all my extensions I use, let me know, I can do that. But I'm only gonna go over two. This one, it tells me how much RAM I have, and then this one, that keeps my screen on, so I don't have to worry about my Chromebook going to sleep. Normally, your Chromebook goes to sleep, but with this extension right here, called Keep Awake, I don't have to worry about my Chromebook screen going awake. I can literally press the power button and lock it, or close the screen to get the screen to turn off. So, I prefer, my screen to be on whenever I have my laptop screen open. So that's awesome. We got a Chromebook with five gigs available right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. And please, in the comments below, let me know what you'd like to see. Is there a certain thing that performs poorly on your Chromebook and you want me to try it on this i5 Chromebook and see if it works better? Is there something that that takes up a whole lot of RAM and you can't use it on your little Chromebook and you want me to test it on here. Let me know in the comments and I will do my best to make it happen in my review. For now, I'm gonna use this thing as much as I can <laughs> before I do the review. This is what would Josh do and I'm out.